great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Struggling a little bit with the connection on the broadcast here today, just in a spot that's not getting good service. And as a streaming-based company, it's 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 uh, pretty tough. It's well, it's a so a rough day in the field for the Titans so far. As the breezes come in and the weather's getting much cooler. So now we're click quickly to three nothing in the top of the third. Meeting at the mound is all over, and we are back to the field. The throw, pitch number one, is strike one to Ibarra. As Nolasco Rodriguez stands in at second base after driving in the third run, second of the inning. This pitch popped up into the air on the shortstop. Cypher is coming over to make the play, and he's there. Gets the first out of the inning. So that'll bring up Jose Mares, who reached on an air his last time up in the first inning. No, in the second inning, excuse me. Now in the top of the third, he's back. First pitch to him, skips in the dirt ball one. The so throw over almost gets away, but a nice job by Ruiz to prevent that thing from getting out to the outfield. Another ball to Mares. One on with one out here in the third. Panthers with a three to nothing lead. That's strike one. Big pitch there for Daniel. Keep another runner off the base paths for now. The pitch from Alden Cortinas. Runner thought about it. And that's ball three. Here's the pitch. That'll find the zone. That's strike two. The count goes full. That one hit weakly. Plays at first. They've got one. One runner stays at third. So the runner does advance. They are able to get Nolasco Rodriguez to third base. Mares now the second out of the inning. Brings up Xavier Chavez for his second at bat of the game. His first time up was a fly out to center field. He swings through this one, strike one. Sixth batter of the inning. 
This is one hit well. That'll get through the infield. Another run will score the third of the inning for the Panthers. And that's a two-out single for Chavez. Brings up Victor Nunez. With two outs, one runner on first in a four-to-nothing game. Throw over. Nothing doing there. This one popped up on the infield. Ruiz is unable to make the play. Oh, but they're going to call the infield fly rule. Basically, that's to uh, prevent the players from just dropping easy pop-ups. That is the infield fly rule. So Nunez goes out. on a technicality, but that is a, a pop out to the shortstop to end the third inning, but not before. Three more runs score for the Panthers. They lead four to nothing. New Tech going to need to get the offense going. They will have the top of the order due up in the bottom of the third inning. That will be up in just a minute. Jackson Williams will lead things off. We'll be right back. Formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Vipe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, not yet another verse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VipeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype com. Back here for the third inning. The Titans with a win and into the playoffs opportunity. But they trail four to nothing and could risk giving up the tie. Well, they will risk giving up the tie in the division for fourth place to the Panthers if they can't get to victory here. And right now, Eastside Memorial does not want their season to be over. Not sure what the tiebreaker will look like. As a first pitch is a bunt for Williams. He can't quite get it down. So strike one. Last time Jackson was up, it's the leadoff hitter. He popped it out. Over up there to the third base side. Tries to get the bunt down, show off the speed. Now the third baseman playing way more shallow as Williams hits this one well, but once again, it's playable. And back to make the first out is Chavez. So Anthony Barone. Been pretty good so far. Only one hit given up through the first time through the order. One walk and one hit by pitch as well, but he's got Williams 0-2 today. Brings up Darius Stewart. Grounded out to second base his first time up in the first inning. So he takes the first pitch outside for ball one. He's ahead in the count now, 2 0. Barone only with one strikeout, though, through the first time of the order, so he's been getting his outs on the backs of the defense here. Good thing Panthers are able to make some of these plays today. That has not been the case for the Titans. They've struggled to make some of those routine throws, and that's part of why they find themselves in such a deep hole at 4 to nothing. 
This one misses outside. It's three balls, no strikes. So he swings at the 3-0. Was in the zone, but dangerous there to swing at. And it was fouled off, though. Three balls and a strike now. That misses. So a rare occurrence. Base runner here for the Titans. Just kidding. They have had one, at least one base runner on in all three of the innings that they've been at the plate so far. One of those guys that was on base was the man at the plate, Daniel Alden Cortinas. Of course, the pitcher today takes the first pitch for a strike. Reached via a hit by pitch in his first plate appearance. So he's going to look to get his first hit of the game, but he's reached safely in his at bat. Easily one for one on the day. The only hit given up by Barone through the first time through the inning and as well the first three batters of the second time through the inning. That's the second walk, by the way, issued by Barone as he's going to have a runner go. Throw not on the money, gets away, and the runner is safe, and he'll have enough. It will be eight, nine, and one hitters due up for the Panthers. Avoiding his second hit of the day. This one finds the plate. It's a ball and a strike. Looking up at the sky, so had some rain in the forecast for this evening. Hopefully that'll stay away as we've got blue skies all around us here today. Forecast said it was supposed to start around 6. Looks like we're going to be able to avoid that at least. Might come later on. This one's golfed into the air and out of play. So two strikes now to Castillo Perez. This one chopped foul on the third base line. Here's the pitch. That one over the head of Castillo Perez. As Alden Cortinas is starting to have a little bit of trouble locating some of these pitches. This one hit. And Cyphers can't get the glove on it. Knocks it down, but runner gets through. And Castillo Perez is on with nobody out. It's a tough play. Cyphers could have been there to make that throw over, but would have been a tough to beat out the speedy Castillo Perez. And as the throwback, they'll try to do just that. They can't there. This one in there for a strike. Nico Reyes, who popped out to second base his first time up, steps through the plate in the fourth inning with nobody out and one on. The throw over, not in time. I don't think Castillo Perez has taken a big enough lead. This one's hit to third. That'll get under the glove of Mathis. Runners go station to station. Now nobody on, or nobody out with runners at first and second. And that is a base hit for Reyes, no doubt about that one.
brings up Barone, the pitcher. And they're going to get a balk on Alden Cortinas. So now two runners in scoring position with nobody out. Barone has reached on two consecutive errors at first base. Is this one won't be an error at first, if anything, as it's popped up on the left field line. There to make the catch in left field. Jonathan Maldonado. Good job from him running up on it to keep the runner there. Brings up Lorenzo Barone. He tripled and got his brother in, I assume, in the third inning. This one misses high. Lorenzo one for two on the day. As we mentioned, a triple his last time up in the third inning. Flew out to left field his first time up in the first. This one's upstairs, ball two. Hitter's strike for him or hitter's count for him, excuse me. Maurice, uh, Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez is the on-deck hitter. Not sure what the call is, but Barone has been awarded first base. I assume it's catcher's interference. So Barone now on first base. Base is loaded with one out, and that's going to hit Nolasco Rodriguez, and that'll bring in a run. So Perez comes home, Reyes to third. Barone to second, and now Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez is at first base. Adrian Ibarra. Steps to the plate. In a 5 to nothing game now after the batter comes home on the free days. Ibarra is 0 for 2 on the day. Popped out the short his last time up. This time he'll take pitch downstairs. Everyone will have to hold up. There's nowhere for anybody to go. But the base is loaded. It's 5 to nothing here in the top of the fourth inning. This one's chopped through the infield. That'll advance the runner, but that's all it will do. So everyone moves station to station, and a runner scores. So that's a single for Adrian Ibarra. Reyes scores. Barone over to third base. Velasco Rodriguez up to second. It's six to nothing here. This one hit to second base. It got away from the second baseman. They'll get the out at second. But one runner is going to come home. Now two runners are going to come home. And he's going to be safe. So now eight to nothing. He got Ibarra there at second. So that's Mattis there reaching on a fielder's choice. That also brought home Barone and Olasco Rodriguez. Scores 8 to nothing. This is a chopper to third base. Throw over is in time. Nice play at first, getting the pick. It's a tough play for Braylon Thomas there to get the final put out in the top of the fourth, but not before four more runs come in to score for the East Side Memorial Panthers, and it's eight to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. 
It'll be Andrew Cyphers, five, six, and seven hitters due up for the New Tech Titans as we're going to take a quick break. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, Back in for the bottom of the fourth inning here. New Tech Baseball on the Vipe Live Network. Been a tough go of things so far for the Titans. As it'll be Andrew Cyphers to lead things off here in the fourth inning. But first, I want to thank our sponsors on the broadcast once again. Academy Sports and Outdoors. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com. Or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Bottom of the fourth starts now. Barone on the mound again. He gets a first pitch popped up into the air. And he ooh, right, well, almost lost that one. But Cyphers is the first out of the inning on a pop-up to the pitcher. Brings up Ruiz, who's 0 for 1 today. Lined out to center field his last time up. Got some solid contact on it. Just... Wrong place at the wrong time. It's one of those things with baseball. As you can see, the frustration starting to mount in the new tech dugout. Zaris fouls that one off. Down in the count now. side could get the mercy rule going. They score a few more runs here, but this one's hit well, but play at shortstop is made. Lorenzo Barone. Incredible defensive play to get the second out of the inning. Brings up Braylon Thomas. Walked his last time up. Back in the second inning. Getting his second chance at the plate here, looking for his first hit. This one hit in the air, playable. Popped up on third base, and there to make the catch is Jose Mares. Will pop out to first base, ends the inning. It goes one, two, three for Anthony Barone. We head now to the bottom of the fourth. It'll be six, seven, and eight due up for East Side Memorial. As we'll have that in just a moment. We'll be right back. The leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events, for more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at vipevype.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another verse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Sixteen seconds. Philly pulls up the corner. Rotates the Wilson. She fires the three. Oh my God! It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to vipevype.com. Yeah! To the end zone. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on four
17. Sure, Fight Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Fight brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Fight brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Fight Sports. BYP. Back in for the top of the fifth. Victor Nunez leading things off for the East Side Memorial Panthers. Last time Nunez was on, he popped out to shortstop, but Titans couldn't come up with it. It was ruled the infield fly rule. This one hit to second, and the throw over is in time. So a quick out to start the top of the fifth inning for Alden Cortinas. Mateo Castillo Perez has had pitches flying inside of the zone at him all day. We only hit once as this one gets away. It's two balls. We got a defensive substitution, it looks like. Just swapping guys. It looks like Cyphers is going to move over to sh uh, second base. And Ruiz is going to move over to short. But that's a swing and a miss for Castillo Perez. That pitch misses, now three balls. So with one out in the fifth inning, Got a defensive substitution as that one finds the zone to strike two. That one was close. Castillo Perez tried to sell it. And that's a one-out walk. Brings up Nico Reyes. get a score 10 to nothing after 5 you do have a, a mercy rule situation it's 4.5 of course if the home team is up by 10 but New Tech trying to avoid that so they can keep this alive and try and, try and get back into it here in the bottom of the 5th throw over not in time Here's the pitch. That got him. So runners now at first and second. Brings up Anthony Barone in the top of the order. Anthony's got a weird stat sheet today. He's been excellent on the pitcher's mound, but from behind the plate, he's reached a couple times on errors. But he did reach, and he did come around to score. So he's 0 for 3, but he's reached safely twice. His last time up, however, that was in the fourth. It was a simple pop out over in left field. Got a move, throw over not in time. Here's the pitch. Runner thought about it. He'll come back. Misses for the ball. Mm -hmm. 
Roan trying to get a bunt down. He pops that one back into the backstop. One ball and one strike to the leadoff hitter, Anthony Barone. The delivery misses outside, two balls, one strike. The breeze starting to pick up here as the sun starts to tuck its way back behind the horizon. Still got a few more hours until sunset, but the sun's starting to go behind some trees and some buildings here. That's in there, caught the zone. Two strikes now. Here's the pitch. Downstairs, he walked him. So a walk, a hit by pitch, and another walk loads up the bases with just one out. Brings up Lorenzo Barone, and we've seen the power he has. He reached last time being a, on a catcher's interference, I believe. Swing and a miss at that one. He already has a triple today. We've seen the speed on the base pass as well as some power. As that one rolled all the way to the back fence his last time up. But now with one out and the bases loaded, he's got it. Great opportunity to make some noise here as this one it misses the zone. It's ball one. That one misses high. Two balls, one strike. The two one is chopped hard and foul. That was, and I mean chop, that was a, a tomahawk of a swing. He hit that hard. He got around on it just early. This one's popped up. Playable. And there to make the play for out number two is the catcher Darius Stewart. It's a tough play looking up into the sun like that. That's a big out. A pop up for out number two. Brings up Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez. He was also hit his last time up. But before that he got a double. He's hit here. So a run scores. So Alden Cart Cortina is having some trouble locating in the fourth or the fifth inning. That's his second hit batter. Sends Barone to second. Castillo Perez now to third. No, excuse me. Uh, Castillo Perez comes home to score. Nico Reyes now there at third. Anthony Barone at second base. And Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez, his second HBP of the day. He's at first base once again. That one misses way outside, ball one. The score of the game now, nine to nothing. We got a question about the lineup from the New Tech side of things. Uh, for for me, it lines up. I was a little confused. I thought Chavez was going to start the inning, but I believe he made the third out of the fourth inning. So I thought that maybe they had it wrong at the start, but looks like everything's okay. I have uh, Nolasco Rodriguez as the man who should be up and. Or should have been up that last at bat. He gets hit. Now he's on first base. Brings up Ibarra. Got everything correct on my end, but that, of course, doesn't mean anything. <laughs> we shall see what the call is.
Still talking things over. Got two of the umpires over there. Now the new tech coach. We'll get the call here in a minute, but that was the final out. Some, some, something is the call, but we head now to the bottom of the fifth, and we'll be right back. KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPE, Vipe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 for team. Again, another reverse. Breaking tackles. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God. It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VIPE, Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Still not able to confirm the call there to end the top of the fifth inning, but now we're here in the bottom of the fifth. It's Camden Porras up at the plate. He's taken his first two pitches to the ABE for a ball, now two and one in the count. Well, that does save New Tech. Only one run came across to score in that inning. They'll stay alive. Reyes stranded at third base to end that thing was the tenth run of the inning. But I have right now Mauricio Nolasco Rodriguez as the final out as the new tech manager was pointing over at him right before they had the conversation that ended the inning. As this one's chopped on the infield at third base, the throw over is in time for out number one. So Porus goes down. Much better defensive play for me side memorial in this game. Brings up Jonathan Maldonado. Just over one on the game. Grounded out two third bases last time up as he takes the first pitch for strike number one. O two. Maldonado goes down swinging. A three pitch strikeout, and the order will turn over. Brings up Jackson Williams. It's Anthony Barone. His great outing continues. That's just his second strikeout, but he's only given up one hit so far two times through the order. That one misses. Jackson Williams looking to become the first base runner since Darius Williams back in the third inning. And Darius is the on-deck man. As it stands, seven straight batters retired for Anthony Barone 
and the East Side Memorial Panthers. This one hit well. And not able to get that one down. That'll be a fly out to center field for another quick one, two, three inning. That's eight batters in a row retired for East Side Memorial. We head now to the top of the sixth. We'll be right back. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeBYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close to the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to BikeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Back in for the top of the sixth, Jack Farrell joining you here on this evening's game between the Eastside Memorial Panthers and the New Tech, the Mainer New Tech Titans, and it's been all Panthers so far, nine to nothing, as they going to get more cuts in here in the top of the sixth. We'll get word on the tiebreaker here in a moment, I I would assume. but it's going to be Adrian Ibarra to lead things off. He came to the plate, as we saw in the fifth, but the inning ended before he could take a pitch. He'll do it now, and he'll hit one super high into the air, but very playable on second base, and there to make the out is Andrew Cyphers. Good to see him there making a defensive play on the field. He's been moved over from short. Now to second. Collects the first pop-up of the inning for out number one. Brings up Jose Mares. Mares is, well, he's 0 for 3 on the day, but he's reached safely twice. Reached via an error in the second and a fielder's choice in the fourth. Looking for his first hit of the game, and he might just have it. This one's hit well out to left field. Over the head of Maldonado. That'll be down for extra bases. Mares is going to be in there for a stand-up one-out double here in the top of the sixth inning. Brings up Chavez. Xavier Chavez, number 13. He's one for three on the day. His last time up in the fourth, he grounded out to second base. It was a particularly productive inning for the Panthers. At fourth, they scored four runs in that one. It's their highest scoring inning of the game. This one's chopped to third, and that'll get under the glove. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events, for more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Back in the broadcast should be at least somewhat on the air now. Got some connection going, and you missed quite a bit. That one a ground out from Darius Stewart, but not before you saw a heck of a highlight play to end the sixth inning, the top of the sixth anyway. A 5-3 double play who was Mathis getting one unassisted out as this is a grounder to short. The throw over will be in time. Did he stay on the bag? He did, and that's out number two. Another excellent defensive play from this East Side Memorial team. And we quickly have two outs.
That brings up Caden Easley, the one hit of the game so far for the Titans. He takes this one for a strike. This one's chopped. That'll be a tough play. Shortstop recovers. The throw over is in time. Incredible inning by that left side of that east side memorial infield. Three straight grounders, three straight highlight plays. We head to the seventh. We'll be right back. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeVYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to VipeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Here we go, inning number seven, the final inning of the game. And Daniel Alden Cortinas is still out there, so he'll get the complete game today. Fortunately, will be a loss for him unless Maynard can come back and make a crazy comeback in the bottom of the seventh. The Titans are being one hit so far by Anthony Barone. He has been excellent today. And the quickest half of the inning was the bottom of the sixth when the Titans needed it the most there. Well, inning that was under 10 pitches, three straight ground outs, three straight excellent plays by the Panther defense. And on the other side of it, Titans finally got a highlight play of their own to get out of the, to get out of the sixth themselves. Malachi Mathis, a 6-3, or a, excuse me, a 5-3 double play to end the inning. Got the force at third, then the throw over. Swing and a miss to start things off for Mateo Castillo Perez. Swings at this one, golfs it into the air. That'll be out of play, but two strikes to him now. Here's the pitch. Fouls back, he stays alive. Maybe a bit surprising. Daniel Alden Cortinas just one strikeout on the day, still looking for his second. Only two strikeouts for Anthony Barone. As that's a fair ball, that's in play. Up, oh, no, we're gonna call it back. It was a, it was a fair ball in play and a tag out until the, until the the uh, umpire on the first baseline he called him safe. He said he fouled it off his foot. New tag manager comes out to question it, but gets the explanation. Some unhappy New Tech fans about that call, but. It's nine to nothing in the seventh. It's still O two. Alden Cortinas shakes off the signs. Here's the pitch. Misses downstairs. Bounced up. Good job knocking it down for Stewart. One and two. Got him there. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So the leadoff hitter goes down once again.
Brings up Nico Reyes. His last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Weak contact here over to the pitcher. Throw over to first is in time quickly. Two outs. Brings up the pitcher, Anthony Barone. We get one more opportunity to get on base here. Take the first pitch downstairs for a ball. That's a strike. Popped up into the air. Left side of the infield. Short stop. Can't make the play. And with nobody on base, the inning will continue. The infield fly rule does not apply. So that's a safe batter. Another E6. Anthony Barone has reached in this game on three errors. He walked in the fifth, popped up in the sev or in the fourth, and then otherwise three at bats he's reached via an error. So still two outs, one on brings up Lorenzo Barone. Swing and a miss. Throw down. They're saying he came off the bag. But I don't think they got the tag on him when he was off the bag. I think he came off the bag, but when they tagged him, he was on the bag. So Barone in there safely. Brings up, Lor or well, Lorenzo stays at the plate. Going to try and get one more runner in. Knocked down. Alden Cortina is trying to get out of the seventh inning without giving up a run. Swing and a miss. It got away. Barone will have a free path to third here. This one hit well. Maldonado ranges over to make the play for out number three. Nice job in the outfield from Maldonado. Getting the line out to end the inning. A no run score. Barone threatened, got to third, but we head to the bottom of the seventh. New Tech looking for the comeback. Formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Vipe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VipeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. 5-6-7 hitters do up for New Tech as they try and score some runs, at least, in the bottom of the seventh inning as this one they won't be able to get the win and into the playoffs. So we'll have to rely on a tie-breaking scenario unless things absolutely fall apart for Tony Verone on the mound now.
decent start as this one's lifted into center, but playable. And that'll be out number one. A little blooping fly out to center field. Cyphers goes down. He'll end the day 0 for 3. We are struggling today with the connection of the stream. Just the hottest day of the year so far is wreaking havoc on some of this equipment. A lot of stuff is wanting to shut down and it's just not really connecting. My good hot spot that was connecting today was has shut down and I don't think it's going <laughs> to be able to get it to turn back on. So hopefully that's not completely broken. But Matthew Reese has got some good contact today, but he's over 2. Some solid contact here, lifted out to left field, and that'll be over the head of the left fielder, Mateo Castillo-Perez. That's just the second hit of the ball game for the Titans. So Matthew Reese doubles into the gap. Ruiz will take that. He's up to one for three on the day. Brings up Braylon Thomas, who's just 0 for 1. Popped a pitch up to the first baseman his last time up. Before that, he reached on a walk. Looking to bring home one runner in to avoid the shutout. He's taking all the way here. That's strike one. This one's fouled up and back into the backstop. No guarantee that the Titans will be able to get three at-bats for every player here. With one out here in the bottom of the seventh. Porus on deck should get an opportunity. It would take a weird play for a double play to get going here. Although you never know. The Titans at this point just trying to avoid the shutout. That one misses outside. Tom is staying alive. It ended up being a pretty short game when it's all said and done. Just about an hour, 40 minutes so far. As this one's hit, and that'll get down through the infield. One run should come around to score. And Ruiz will. The throw home will actually not be in time. They couldn't get it down in time. Didn't think the throw would get in. But a nice play out in the field. Panthers defense has been excellent today. They're clicking. They almost get an out at the plate there. But Matthew Ruiz was able to come around to score on the Braylon Thomas single. So after one hit all day, it's back to back for the Titans. And they're on the board. It's nine to one. So everyone, unless this is a double play from Porus, everyone should get a third at bat. Maldonado, the nine hitter, the only other one who has not seen the play a third time. Porus is 0 for 2 today. Struck out his first time up in the second after an excellent at bat where he fouled off a number of pitches, worked the count full. But his last time up in the fifth, he grounded out to third base on a 2 2 count. Reaches out for that one. He swings through it at strike one. Excuse me, two. Here's the pitch. That's high. Now two balls. That one misses. Now three balls, two strikes. Don't have a scoreboard out there for us today. That one got away from the catcher. He lost it. Didn't lose it as much as he saw it, so the throwdown could be there, but it just skips and kind of eats up the second baseman. So Thomas got a late jump, but he's able to get in. Oh, wait, and that was the fourth ball anyway. Never mind. <laughs> so Porus gets a free base. Braylon Thomas a little frantic for nothing there. So it looks like Thomas might have hurt himself trying to slide into second. 
We got some trainers coming out. It will be Jonathan Maldonado here with one out in the seventh. Trying to keep the game going. We will have a pinch runner. Carlos Hoover off the bench. And that will end Braylon Thomas' day. Six for 16. So a pinch runner, Carlos Hoover off the bench. He'll become the lead runner at second base. So Carlos Hoover and Camden Porras, the runners on the base paths for the new Tech Titans, brings up nine hitter Jonathan Maldonado, who's made a number of decent plays out there in left field today. Takes the first pitch high for ball one. He's trying to attack that high part of the zone. Seems like today New Tech has had a hard time swinging at pitches that are low. As he takes that one, that's strike one. So a ball and a strike to Jonathan Maldonado. Big hole in the infield between first and second base. But Maldonado's been taking here. He's now down in the count, a ball and two strikes. And to avoid to strike out to end the game, or no, to for out number two. Jackson Williams, the leadoff hitter, due up next. Jackson 0 for 3 today. Takes that one. Breaking ball, caught the zone, strike three. Brings up Jackson Williams. Williams hits this one well. High into the air, but could be out number three. Down the line. That'll get over the head of the left fielder. Castillo Perez couldn't see it. One runner will score. Everybody's safe. They're going to bring home the second runner. The throw home will be in time. Got him. That's the ball game. As they got Porras trying to come home from first. So Hoover scores, but Porras is gunned down at home to end the game. Jackson Williams. Got a double. Got a run scored. So the final here will be 9-2. to two. Gonna go ahead and take a quick break in just a moment to uh, figure out what we're doing for the tiebreaker. But for now, just want to give a quick thank you to the fine folks at Academy Sports and Outdoors. You can gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. The final here is, ooh, there we go, 9-2 to two in 7. The East Side Memorial Panthers put a wrench in the plans of the New Tech Titans. So we have a tiebreaker situation. I'm going to go ahead and ask in uh, just a moment what the plan is for that. I don't believe another game will be played here today as the sun is up. Uh